Now next question number 44. In this question, we are given that sides of right angle triangle are in arithmetical progression and if the triangle has area 24, then what is the length of the smallest side? Because the side length of the triangle are in arithmetical progression and the triangle is also right angled. So, we consider side length as a minus d a n longest side hypotenuse say a plus d where we have considered that a is positive and d also positive and this is the length of this a minus d is here the length of smallest side. The length of smallest side which is asked in the question is now a minus d. Now, to find length of a smallest side, we must know value of a and d. For this, we have two equation, one we can frame from right angle triangle. So, we can apply Pythagoras theorem, from there we can use a plus d whole square equal a minus d whole square plus a square. On solving this relation, we get a times a minus 4 d equal 0, but a cannot be 0 being side length of the triangle. So, from here we get one relation between a and d that is a equal 4 d. Now, for another relation we are given that area of the triangle which is half time a multiplied by a minus d equal 24. This is given to us. From there we can conclude that a times a minus d equal 48. Now, on solving these two equations we get value of a and d and they are a equal 8 and d equal 2 and from these two we get length of a smallest side which is required in the question is equals to a minus d which is 8 minus 2 equal 6. So, the right answer for this question is 6. In question number 45, we have to find different values of p so that the circle x square plus y square plus 2 x plus 4 y minus p equal 0 will intersect the coordinate axis at 3 distinct points. Now, in the given information, the circle will have center minus 1 comma minus 2 which lies in the third quadrant. Now, here we shall consider 3 cases. Now, in first case when p is equals to 0, it means circle is passing through origin. Now, in this case through this diagram we can see that this circle means coordinate axis at these 3 distinct points. So, p equal 0 is one possible value for the question. Now, we shall consider second case when circle intersect x axis at 2 distinct points and it touches y axis. Then from equation of circle we must have g square minus c greater than 0 and this f square minus c equal 0. Now, on putting the data we get p greater than minus 1 and p equal minus 4. Again these two conditions are not simultaneously possible. So, of course, this case will be rejected. Now, we come to last case. In this case when circle intersect y axis at two distinct points and it touches x axis. Now, here again g square minus c will be 0 and f square minus c will be positive. On putting the data from the given equation of circle, we get p equal minus 1 and p greater than minus 4. Now, from these two conditions simultaneously, we conclude p equal minus 1. So, finally, for the answer, we get two distinct values of p and they are of course, p equal minus 1 and the other value of p is 0. So, right answer is 2.